Goldfinger was part of the modernist movement and very much a utopian, uh, influenced by Le Corbusier with his notion of streets in the sky. The way to live in the future was actually to get up there and stop taking up the space, the space which could be free for parkland, the space which could be free for people to enjoy the land and get their feet on the ground. The whole idea of building high for him was to save space, not to, not to make a congested city. But actually, of course, tablets get built and other things get built around them. So it didn't quite work out. And lots of the utopian ideas weren't quite right in practice. But Goldfinger was an empiricist. He took experience seriously. So when he learned that something didn't work, he changed it. For instance, in this tablet over here, we've got three lifts, whereas in the one he built just before, there were only two, which is absolute hell for anybody trying to move into the place. Goldfinger actually is probably, with Lubetkin, the most significant modernist architect working in Britain in, in, in the post-war period.